Doug with you, Scala here at Fabtech. Uh, just checking out all sorts of cool technology and uh, came across Scalable Arc. One of my uh, colleagues said, you got to check these guys out. So uh, I'm here with Tom. He's the CEO of Scalable Arc. And uh, Tom, uh, can you walk us through what you guys are showing off here, please? Sure. Thanks, Doug. I'm Tom Fulbergi. I'm, I'm CEO of Scalable Robotics. And what we have is a no-code, no-cad, point-and-click interface for programming industrial robots. And I'll give you a quick demo. So you place the parts on the on the weld table, wherever you want them to be. Okay, It doesn't matter. You do it, whatever. The first thing you want to do is you want to scan the parts. So what we're doing there, the head hit scan, is we're going to to basically get show the robot where everything is. So we have a 3D camera and we're developing a model of, of everything that's on the weld table. So when you go to do your parts, if you're doing a bunch of parts, you do a little bit of fixturing so that it's repeatable. You can even do a one-off because it's so quick. But the idea here is first you have the robot uh, have a 3D model of the parts. And then what we'll do is we'll take our wand and we'll click where we want the welds to be, okay, where we want the weld points. So it's you always do a lead in where they want the weld points and then a lead out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say start teaching. Okay, now you can see the, the tracking. See the yellow dot there? You can see the tracking. Yeah. So I'm yep. going to do an approach point. I'm going to do a point on the part. Now I'm going to switch to circular because we're going around this thing. Another point. Another point. And come off. Okay, and we'll say stop. Now you can see this is where the, the, the weld points are. And then we'll say validate. And what this is doing is showing that, yes, the robot can reach those points without running out of joint space, without going through singularity, without just running out of room, without having a collision. This uses the confidence when you go to the real world, everything's going to look good and not crash. So once it's done with that, now it's also going to do a quick, what we call an auto-tune validation. Okay. So the auto-tuning is where the robot would automatically fine-tune the path. So when you use the vision system, you're only good to a couple millimeters of where the path should be, right? You need to be within half a wire width, right? So half a millimeter. So what we do is we just set the program to the robot. We go to run the program, and the robot says that... Uh, that the path hasn't been tuned, so the operator says, hey, go ahead and tune. And then the robot will tune it. What's... So this is very key. This process and, and kind of the solution is really geared towards that operator that we're trying to turn into a, uh, a robot programmer. So where some softwares are, hey, use that CAD model and use that, you have your CAD engineer becoming a robot programmer. Yeah. This is the kind of the methodology of let's have that welder turn into your robot programmer by making it so easy to program. There we go. Yep. Hence the code-free, CAD-free, point-and-click solution. Yes. So now you see it's coming down. In this case, you can either use touch sense or a laser. In this case, we're using a 1D laser. It's doing a quick scan across. So it's going to find the plane, find the wall, and then now it knows exactly where that point is. Now you can see it's coming down. It puts the the the, the, the wire right exactly in the corner, and then you have a choice as a welder to go ahead and actually jog the robot. So so say you know that you need to put a little bit of push on that, right? Or you want to move it like a linear move, say a little bit left, whatever reason. You know, it's those idiosyncrasies in the part that you, you know as a welder need to be taken sure. care of. So the system will put you exactly where your your weld spec specification says it should go. And you, but there's you know there's always some something that you need to fine tune. If it's a regular fillet joint like this, it's really straightforward. That'll find it very clearly, you know, very easily every time. But we give you that option to say, hey, I know better. I'm the welder. This is what it really should do. So if you have like, if your specification says I need to be at you know, 42 degrees to the five degree push, you put that into the into the system as the, as the default and it'll, it'll set it to that. So if you have a very strict weld specification, then you say you have to be at these angles, then we can set it for you automatically. And that's it. So now we've gone from a new part, a new situation to uh, teaching it, to tuning it up, 
Now we have a perfect path and we'll just run that real quick. And now in like about four minutes here, we went all the way through the whole process. And you can see that it's a, you know, a highly tuned rock solid path. Angles are all exactly correct. Mm -hmm. And it's easy. So we saw no code. We didn't need any CAD. We just needed what we have here in the cell. You just have to be, you know, present and, and kind of ask or answer some questions that are intuitively obvious to the welder. Great. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for the Thanks, demo. Doug. I really appreciate it.